What is up guys, it is Nick, we are back, and it looks like today is going to be a three video day. We're going to have the patch notes here for both some of the Xbox and PlayStation important stuff that came out, as well as the video on the Archer going over its Ascension stuff. Uh, that'll come out later tonight, maybe 6, 7 Eastern time. Uh, and then we'll have the Noobs Guide, which will probably come out late again because I work until 10 p.m. tonight, and I decided to finally take a day and sleep in. Um, I'd been getting up at like 8 on my days off, and which isn't that bad i like getting up at eight but when i go to bed at like three in the morning it's a little bit of a daunting task every day to get up at get up at eight and and have a will to actually get stuff done so august 28th patch notes here we go this is for the xbox one uh we have shy talents added so uh the new talents have been released for the shy these talents bring new skills to the class as well as the soul a mythical mystical item that allows the user to summon forth different musical instruments uh, you will need to complete the quest Shy Talent, the first light, which can be accepted from the Black Spirit once a character reaches level 56. Shy is not able to open existing Awakening boxes and receives one blue grade soul and one yellow grade soul. The blue grade soul cannot be enhanced, uh, but has high default stats. The yellow grade soul starts off with lower stats than the blue grade, but can be enhanced to be more powerful. You can find out more about the Shy's talents in the GM notes. Um... I don't know if these are the GM notes, but we do have the Shy uh, event here. So this is Let Your Talent Shine. You know, pretty good, good, pretty good play on world, words. Uh, but we have the uh, the Julia Choir of Calfion are on tour, tour, and you can be a part of it. Complete the quest once per day per family, and you'll be rewarded with cool rewards. Uh, so here are the quest rewards right here. Uh, pretty much, um, you get contribution XP the Julia violin and 15 juices, uh, five of three different various juices, and you can complete these every day. Um, decent rewards, nothing crazy, but, but decent. You have until September 11th to do these, and they can be done once a day per family. Um, nothing really else that important there. If we come down here, we have the hot time event plus nature, nurture the sapling a camisole rewards. So... Uh, to help kickstart your adventure through the Black Desert world, the Combat and Skill XP Hot Times events will be running 24-7 between August 28th and September 11th. Push through those level boundaries and enjoy this Hot Time event. We will be activating the server-wide rewards from the Nurture the Sapling event. This means that you will be able to get Blessing of Camp Sylvia 7-day, all life XP plus 50%, and 50% energy reduction at Patrigo's Secret Shop. Uh, both at A and EU can, com can complete... or er, can completed these events oh my gosh can i learn how to read event details uh is the combat xp plus 100 percent skill xp plus 30 percent all types of skill life skill xp is plus 50 percent except for trading uh during the hot time event uh you can receive the bonus of the seven day camisil blessing of camisil uh in the challenge tab uh during the event period i'll show that once uh i'm going to switch over to the console at the very end to show a couple of things uh, and so, yeah, I'll, I'll show redeeming that stuff at the end. Uh, bonus energy cost, we already went over that. Hot time and drop rate increase in event notice. Uh, the event will apply to all Black Desert servers. Combat XP benefits will not apply to characters below level 30. So, you know, get to level 30, which is pretty easy. Uh, in order to take part in this, Combat XP benefits will stack with scrolls, potions, and value packages, but does not stack with buffs from other sources. Uh, skill XP benefits stack with their other buffs, and this hot time only includes combat and skill XP. Other XP sources will remain unaffected uh, by the event. So this is just general event notices, nothing too important. I believe this is only Xbox and PC. Uh, does it say... Yeah, just Xbox. I mean, we, this is the console, so... But only Xbox, it looks like, for the Let Your Talent Shine event. Moving on to... We have new Pearl Shop items. So these are the ones that we've already seen these on Xbox. If you are interested on PlayStation, I'll show them quick. These are the new Pearl Shop items for the PlayStation. Uh, and it's just the Marine outfits. Nothing too crazy. They added some more uh, stuff for your house, but also nothing too crazy. But uh, yeah, that's all of that. Nothing super exciting, but... Uh, it's something new to the to the Pearl Shop, but nothing I'm going to buy on PlayStation. They're, they're decent looking, but nothing crazy. 
Uh, we're going to go and take a look at the Xbox ones. I'll show all of this in game at the very end. I just wanted to cover it real quick now. Uh, so we got the Angelic Blessing Pack. So if you guys have watched my videos for a while, I talk about how I love wings on my characters. And I mean, come on, there's there's the wings. So, you know, you know, I'm going to probably have to pick this up. I don't know. It's kind of crazy because I really like the outfit I have for my sorceress. That's probably the only thing I'm going to pick up is the sorceress one. But uh, we got those and then we got the shy and the archer. We got gift of the wolf and we got uh, talents require style. So we got new shy uh, gear and we got new um, archer gear. But I'll show all of this within the game at the very end of the video. But let's get back to the main patch notes of the video and that is the ascension so archer ascends as the archer skills are now available the lost purpose quest chain can be accepted from the black spirit at level 56 and once completed will unlock all the skills that require the sentinel skill we have also added archer absolute skills these skills add a whole level to the archer's current skills and allows them to unlock their potential you can find out more in the gm notes that aren't actually there for you to click on um but there's not a whole lot extra to know about this i'll go over um the actual skills that uh that are unlocked now let me find them i have a picture on my phone uh where is it the very bottom here okay so the five skills for ascension are righteous smite fires a huge arrow infused with the power of light at the target the arrow is slow but the explosion is extremely powerful sentinel empowers archer skills to make them extremely destructive for a limited time piercing comet Shoots an arrow using the long range and explosive cap capabilities of the Great Bow. It can be charged to increase the area of effect. Uh, Ravenous Talon stuns targets in a close range and then creates a distance between them. And Flow Lights Trail. Archer moves backwards while shooting, which can be used in various situations as it flows after many skills, which I really like. Then we have the Rob Bomb skills, which this is big for my sorceress, which means that we'll probably get a sorceress video here because I want to do, I want my, I want my Rob Bomb skills for, for my Sork. And I think I have, I have no skill points saved up on my Sork, which is kind of really bad. So I, so I need to, I need to get more skill points on my Sork, which means I definitely need to do some grinding on there. So we may have an update on the stream. The very first stream may actually end up being Sork, not Archer, so that we can farm up and get skills and, and do all of that stuff for this. But, uh, yeah, kind of tragic that uh, <laughs> that I don't don't have any skill points saved up on my source. But let's continue. So the Rob Bomb skills. Rob Bomb skills have been added to the game. Rob Bomb skills allow you to combine two powerful skills into one, giving you the option of having an even more powerful skill. The fusion does not remove comp component skills and instead creates a whole new skill for your character to use learning a skill is easy similar to the normal skills that you can learn you can find the raw bomb skills at the bottom of the skill list they are easily identifiable that identifiable as their skill icons look like a merge between two different skills and they really do i'm on xbox i'll show you guys when we get uh, to that part of the video learning a uh wait, wait. there are two sets of skills to learn each set having two raw bomb skills you can learn one set of raw bomb skills at 56 and one set of Rob Bomb skills at 57. In a, in, in a set, the two options have the first, I can't talk, same first skill. However, the second skill offers a different effect. This could be something like extra damage or extra crowd control. Make sure to look at both skills before making your choice. Uh, once you reach level 56 as a sorceress, you will find two new skills in your skill list as long as you have the preceding skills leveled up. You may choose one of these skills to fill your level 56 skill slot. Uh, so Sorceress Rob Bomb skills are Shadow Ignition and Crow Nightmare. They both require Bloody Calamity. One combines Bloody Calamity with Shadow Eruption, and the other one combines it with Russian Crow, uh, and it becomes Shadow Ignition and Crow Nightmare. So I'll go into that more when we get on to the console, because <clears throat> I do have Sork, so I have those two skills that I can show you. We have added a function that prevents players from picking up unsuspecting players on boats. The anti-abduction method should provide protection to people who stray too close to the water. We have also changed the amount of common XP gained from failing a cooking or alchemy attempt. Uh, failing will now reward players with one-tenth the combat XP that has gained when successful. Quest changes, uh, goblins at the ruins, about goblins. Your choice of crossroad offers different rewards and possible titles. So that's actually kind of nice. Mount changes... 
Uh, donkeys will now have quicker when auto-pathing and moving manually. So pretty much donkeys just move faster. Wagons, as they slow down, you can hold back and left stick to bring them to an immediate halt. That's kind of nice. We've also made changes so that gathering UI is no longer displayed while riding a mount. This made it difficult to get off your mount as the Y button is used for both. That's, that's good too. Balance changes. So these, there's not many balance changes. Uh, the warrior... Uh, the skill meditation to regain uh, WP uh, went from 20 to 40, 30 to 60, and 40 to 100. That's about the that's the only ba that's the only balance other than a bunch of new stuff for the shy um, at plus 300 percent for XP gain through alchemy and gathering. Uh, can shy can ride horses? Shy can ride solo on the back of a two seater horse. Uh, pretty much just a bunch of quality of life stuff for the shy, nothing too crazy. Uh, item changes, so this just has to do with, uh, Iona Fragments. Uh, Iona Fragments can now be obtained through heating of certain yellow grade items. In order to do so, you will need to gain knowledge of Osadilla Special Heating Method available in Valencia. Following items can now be mounted for Iona, uh, Fragments. So pretty much a bunch of good stuff can be melted down for fairly good amount of Iona fragments. Uh, shy owl horn rim glasses have been added to the glasses box. This box can be earned by reaching 3,000 total hours of play. How much have I played? Hold on, let me look real quick. How much have I played? 3,000 hours? I don't even... 3,000... How many hours do I have played? Let me look at this. I guess I could have looked at this when we got on the console, but... I don't even have 500 hours played on Xbox. What? 3,000. You have got to be kidding me. 3,000. That's a lot of hours played. That was a lot of hours played. Uh, the Stable Keeper, Pardis, and Keplin has been fixed to not sell armor in the store when Amity with the PC is over 500. Now sell the Donkey Gear set. Okay. You can now make the chat window smaller. Ooh, thank you. Press LTY to reduce the number of lines shown on the main screen. Thank you. That is so nice that they finally added that. Now, all we need, all we need now on Xbox is the ability to shrink everything. Quest, make the minimap bigger, make the UI bigger, make it smaller, all of that. We need that now. But uh, let's hop over to the console and I'll show you guys a couple of things over there. And we're back. So I'm currently in an empty house because this is where we are going to do our house video this weekend. Hoping to have that out Saturday or Sunday, so check back for that if you're interested. But let's hop into this. First of all, here is the seven-day blessing and camisil. Uh, you just go straight into your rewards in the challenge, and it will be sitting waiting for you there. Uh, next, we'll take a look at the Rabom skills. So here are uh, Shadow Ignition and Crow Nightmare. I think I would rather prefer... I think I would prefer Shadow Ignition because Shadow Eruption and Bloody Calamity are the two things that I love the most. So I'm gonna pick that up. Um, just I, I think I think I like it a little bit better though. I don't know exactly how to use it. I don't know the exact. I'll have to figure out the exact combo to use it. Where is it? Is it all the way at the bottom? Yeah, Shadow Ignition. I guess it could, re it could replace, let's see. Well, I want to know if you use it. Can you, use, like, if I use it like this, and then I, hold on, I got to have this out. I got to let that cool down now. So hold on, let's go ahead and take a look at the Pearl Shop while that cools down, and we'll come back to that in a second. So we have new outfits, which is, you know, what I, what I love. But Angelic Blessing, this is, uh, I, th I think I'm going to pick this up. I love wings on characters. Uh, it's like a weird, I don't know, what happens if you're not wearing, like, like, I have that, I have the underwear because I wanted the bonus luck, but it's weird, like, is that, like, all, it, that's, like, a, you're, like, essentially paying all of this for wings. Is there just, do you have, you have to get this bonus, you have to get the full set thing here with the golden bell. 15 days of cam uh, blessing a camel, camisil, young griffin, you get Valk's cry. Interesting, but let's take a look at all of the angelics and see what they look like. I'm assuming all the males look roughly the same and all the females look roughly the same. That's pretty sick for the warrior, not gonna lie. That's pretty nice. And it looks like they all come with the same thing. Ranger. 
Hopefully the Xbox works with me today and actually loads everything. Yeah, pretty much everything is the exact same for male and female, so you just kind of got to transfer it to whatever character you're using. Lon finally gets a new outfit, but it's a shared outfit between everybody. Yeah, it's pretty much just the exact same thing, male or female. Berserker might look a little bit different because he's a little bit different of a character. But, nope, he looks pretty much exactly the same as Warrior. Okay, so I'm not going to show all of them since they all look almost identical. We're going to look at the new stuff for Shy. So we have uh, Floor Chestra. See how this looks? That actually looks pretty cool. I like how her floor rang looks with that skin. Uh, probably the probably my favorite Shy skin, um, the Floor Chestra. Probably. I don't know. I, I Her skins I don't love, but let's take a look. We get the Angelic Blessing... Um, for the archer actually so you could grab it on that but this i believe right here yeah right here this is the um the archer kind of ascension gear not too bad looking not crazy but but not bad let's go ahead i uh i don't know i don't know if i want the angelic blessing i i like wings like like that's but i also like these flowing off my back so i'm not entirely sure that i want this it's like really expensive and I'm not sure I'm not sure if it's worth it I like the design the concept I wish those like bars weren't there and they just like made it so that they were actual wings because I would like to see how the wings react when you're like fighting and doing all that different stuff but I'll have to think about it it's one of those things it's expensive that's an expensive piece of an outfit that's a really expensive outfit so I'll have to see what uh what happens and what if I want to do that or not uh, let's go back to the skills so I'm gonna try to do this so let's see here hold on let me dash game let me dash forward okay it's not gonna let me do it like that so let's see let me put the skill onto the skill pad here <clears throat> over the shards of darkness so shadow ignition so put it there Oh, it's because I probably because I'm in a residency. Hold on, let me get out of this and go over here. Okay, so let me try this. Okay, that's it's a cool skill, but I wish there there's got to be a way to do it within the flow of actual combat. It can't require you to have to, <clears throat> um, to have to do it like that. There's got to be a way to do it in the flow of combat. Not real. Well, I don't know. It's it's hard to tell. Is it on? It's still on cooldown. That's a long cooldown. If that's a thirty seconds for that cooldown, so I'm trying to figure out. There's got to be a way. I'll have to practice it and whatnot and mess with it. But there's got to be a way to to do it without without um. What am I trying to say? There's got to be a way to do it without having to have it hot keep like that. Because that just doesn't make any sense. It's going to be way too hard to use that if it, does, if it doesn't flow. Because, like, for me to have to hit <clears throat> up and swipe down in the middle of combat to use that thing and remember to keep using it, it's kind of difficult. Like, it's easy on PC, I think, because you, you can have it hotkeyed. But on Xbox, we don't really have hotkeys, per se. We have, like, the, the, the bar at the bottom, but that's not really hotkeys, in my opinion. Because most of them, unless you play, like weird like unless you play with a finger always on the d-pad you actually have to you have to take a finger from somewhere to hit the d-pad so unless you play like this or you play like i have a friend that plays with his hand like over the control i don't know how he does it but it's like over the controller so unless you play like that it's really not a hot bar it's like a it's a, it's a key press away but let's try this again so that's not what i wanted if you go into bloody calamity and you do this there's no button. I can't tell if there's a button press to use it. I'm gonna have to figure that out. But we did get that, so you know, I'm happy. I'm happy about getting that skill because it should be fairly good. But I think that's gonna pretty much do it for this video. Uh, I wish it had like. I wish it told you exactly. Um. What the. What the um. 
what the follow-up is if it is if you can use it like that or if i just have to have it hot bar i mean it's not too hard to hot bar it like that i mean i've gotten a lot better it takes about a half a second i pretty much have stuff memorized so i know all i gotta do is swipe down here hit up real quick and then swipe down because my thumb is always on this i usually take my so the way i play is i play like like i can't even turn my hands i play like this but then i hit y and x with this with my uh, index finger, and then I hit A and B. Well, sometimes I hit B with my index finger, but A is always hit with my thumb. So as long as I'm not jumping, I will have my finger on the aiming stick. Probably just comes mostly from Call of Duty. Obviously, you don't want to take your finger off the aiming stick in Call of Duty. So, yeah, that, that's where that comes from. So I need to get better at using this finger right here to hit A, but I just... I don't know, it feels awkward to me when I try to do it. It's, like, not awkward when I'm, like, thinking about it. But, like, in the flow of doing something, it's it's kind of awkward. But if I have to swipe down like this to use this, that's not a problem. But I wish it would flow better. Uh, I think I think I have a couple of people who main Sorceress on Xbox with me that watch my videos all the time. So hopefully one of you guys can let me know and help me out. And, uh, yeah, just, just send me their message on Xbox. Leave it in the comments. Send me a nice message on Twitter anywhere just let me know if you know what the flow is for the sorcerers for for my uh for my shadow ignition so that's gonna do it guys though i'm gonna stop blabbing on i'll catch you guys later today with the archer video peace